गाइज दिस इज योर फेवरेट चैनल वेर वी ब्रेक डाउन आइडियाज डाउन टू द टी वी मेक दम सो फाइनाइट एंड ग्रैनुलर कि आप उन्हें अपनी जेब में रख के घर ले जा सकते हो और दूसरों को बता सकते हो और अपने जिंदगी में लगा सकते हो ब्रो बिकॉज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट सिंसियरिटी देखो भाई के चेहरे पर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन यू बींग बेटर वैल यू हैव फन आई रिमेंबर लिसनिंग टू कर्नेल वेस्ट टॉक अबाउट दिस डायकॉटमी इन अ वेरी ब्रिलियंट फिनोमिन आई माइट हैव मैंशन दिस ऑन यूट्यूब बिफोर बट कर्नेल वेस्ट इज अ प्रोफेसर एट कलम्बिया नाउ ही वॉज अ प्रोफेसर एट हार्वर्ड बैक दैन and he said something he's like when i read the bible or when i read socrates two of the most influential figures in how you must think socrates and jesus he says there is something i cannot wrap my head around and the difference is that jesus never laughs and socrates never cries jesus never laughs and socrates never cries and how is it that these guys can speak about the true extent the true spectrum of human experience if one of them has no capacity to laugh and the other has no capacity to cry and that made me realize that there is a very solid duality between those two schools of thought the socratic school of thought and the jesus school of thought and as indians you are by the way as indians which is most of my audience you are more likely predisposed to the jesus way of thought so what is the difference and how is andrew tate related to all of this that is the fundamental question and the fundamental difference the the difference at the very bottom of their philosophy is the difference between realization of god through service versus self i remember when you in dps if any of you went to dps the motto of dps is service before self so they clearly take the jesus route that you achieve divine that you transcend that you escape the confines of your biological limitation through service of others and socrates was of the view that you escape the confines of your biology of your limited existence through working on your self that is the fundamental difference between socrates and jesus Andrew Tate is a direct lineage of the Socratic way of thinking also echoed by Nietzsche when he said self overcoming and so on and so forth that you must transcend the self through becoming an ubermensch right and this is where the most interesting part of all problem solving arises all problem solving is a dialectical problem solving this is why people who shit on western philosophy have not gathered how deep just how deep western philosophy gets In fact people who have the ability to shit on philosophy without reading philosophy don't understand how deep the history of thought gets the history of thought is complex and comprehensive one must not forget so for instance take the nature of the problem <clears throat> what do i do in life which is a very common question that people ask in relationship to careers and such what do i do in life prakar Prakar, what do I do in life? What do I? How do I make a career out of myself in life? What is the answer? You go to a random self-help sort of a person. They be like, "Do what you want, man. Do what your heart tells you." Is the problem solved at that level? Has the answer been given when somebody says, "Do what your heart wants?" You be like, "Wait, but I also want to make money from what I do." So the person is like, "No, no, no. Now do what your heart wants and make sure it makes money. Do something that is commercially viable that the market wants." So now there is two layers to the answer. Person is like, okay, but here is another thing. I also want that it ensures a certain level of spiritual, creative, personal, psychological growth. So now you say, do what your heart wants. That makes you money. That also ensures creative growth. And what you are essentially doing is positing a question, providing an answer, then providing an antithetical question. moving the answer towards here then providing another antithetical question and you keep moving through a dialectic through the opposites you keep coming at the center and that is the true synthesis of how socrates and jesus must act as well the jesus way which is the idea that you will achieve transcendence and why must you care about transcendence we'll touch upon that in a little second is the service of others the socratic way is the service of self but is there a service of others without the service of self if i am not strong enough if i as a tree do not have roots that are deep enough have i managed to serve others at all if you do not have the money can you provide for your relatives in your community is there selflessness without selfishness and if you remember that very interesting episode from friends where phoebe and joey get into that sort of a oh wait there is no selfless act there is always a selfish act you feel happy every time you are selfless so therefore it is selfish if somebody remembers can you say hello about it can you say i remember that episode 
there is always selfishness built into selflessness you are arriving at the essence of advait non duality in a small sense right here i did not know by the way dude this is not scripted i did not know we'll talk about andru tate and get to advait suddenly but now you are getting to the essence of non duality that things are essentially not two different things they have to sort of move together they sort of have to have the the two two sides of the same coin kind of a you know um quote cliche that, that it's it's kind of like that and so all transcendence is achieved through some amount of work that you do on yourself so that you can extend yourself to the community beyond you that is the point गाइज अगर ये सुन के आपको भी लगा वाओ मैं भी ऐसे सोचना चाहता हूँ मैं सीखना चाहता हूँ ऐसे कैसे सोचते हैं तो क्या करना है सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब का बटन सब्सक्राइब